Hi, in this video I will show you how to configure VSFTPD server on Ubuntu 20.04 for upload to a web server. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu 20.04 and VSFTPD and Apache 2 for web server. At the end of this video, you can to be able to upload files to the document root on the web server. First, I advise you to watch the first video which describes the step-by-step -step the installation and configuration of an FTP server for upload to a home directory, and the second video which describes the steps of securing an FTP server, because in this video, I will not show you all the steps, since we are going to make some modification compared to the previous configuration. You can find it at the top of the video. Let's start. We will start by creating a new user that we will use to log into FTP. For example, we will create a new user called FTP web user by the command sudo add user FTP web user. Generate a strong password and keep it safe. I have an Apache 2 installed as being the web server. I will show you his status and his default document root. If you are using multiple domains, you would need to indicate your document root may be located in somewhere like slash var slash www slash domain dot com slash html. In that case, you would need to set the home folder for FTP web user to the folder above the document root slash var slash www slash domain dot com. Don't forget to substituting domain dot com for your own domain. If you are not using multiple domains, we will assume you are using the default document root slash var slash www slash html for both Apache and Nginx in Ubuntu 2004. In this scenario, we have to make slash var slash www the home directory for our user FTP web user. Let's set the folder above the document root as the home directory for FTP web user by sudo usermod hyphen d slash var slash wwwftp web user now set ownership of the document root directory to ftp web user the default is slash var slash www slash html though it may be slash var slash www slash domain dot com slash html on your server. This will allow our FTP user to write and alter files in the document root directory. sudo chown ftp web user colon ftp web user slash var slash www slash html. In this step, I will use the configuration mentioned in the first and second video, make sure you watch them. There are two changes we have to make to the VSFTPD configuration file before you can start using FTP. You will comment on the local underscore root and user underscore sublines. That's all, it's easy. sudo v slash etc slash vsftpd.con. We will find all the configuration lines in the description. You will comment on the local underscore root and user underscore sublines. We are done with vsftpd.con. Save file and exit. Restart vsftpd.
sudo system ctl restart vsftpd.server. We can now test VSFTPD to see if we can log into the web home directory as the user we created earlier. We recommend FileZilla, which works on Windows, Mac and Linux. Enter your server's IP, your FTP username and password you created earlier, and click Quick Connect. You may be presented with an unknown certificate warning. Click Always Trust This Certificate in Future Sessions and click OK. Try uploading, creating, and editing folders and files within the web home directory to ensure permissions are working correctly. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment. Make sure to subscribe, so you don't miss out on my future videos.